Let's look at some of the examples of spoofing. Now keep in mind that spoofing is more of a basic technique than a specific attack, but it, sometimes the lines are blurry. First, man in the middle. Man in the middle is a type of attack where I pretend to be the machine you're trying to communicate with. Either a DNS server for resolving host names to IP addresses, maybe your router or gateway, or even a web server itself. So my whole goal is to intercept the traffic and reroute it, retransmit it. Man in the middle allows me to gather information that I normally shouldn't. And as a result of this type of attack, I've got to be able to spoof IP addresses. What happens if I want to redirect traffic? I'm not necessarily playing a man in the middle, but I want to hide the return traffic. In other words, let's say that I want a DNS server not to be able to respond to you. So I simply alter the DNS information so that the DNS server sends its traffic through another direction. This is just redirecting the information either away from the attacker or to the attacker. I can also do source routing. Source routing is where I just take a single packet and I change its route by altering certain information. Again, this can be used to try to sneak packets in through a firewall that I'm not normally allowed to do. Blind spoofing is an attempt where I try to predict the response of a host. This is where I really want to hijack data. I don't want to be a man in the middle. I just want to take over the session completely. I want to leave one of the hosts involved in the sessions out of the loop. And so I attempt to reduplicate the sequence number TCP uses to keep track of the conversation. And the end result is so I can insert altered data. I can put in my name or my password or something different. And finally, flooding. Flooding is a different kind of spoofing where instead of redirecting the traffic to the attacker, I want to redirect traffic to the victim. In this case, I will send out a packet pretending to be the victim that requests thousands of computers respond to me. Basically saying, hey, am I alive? Can you hear me? Are you out there? I send this out to thousands of computers, but the source IP address I list as the attackers. The attackers then undertake a distributed denial of service attack of sorts where they flood the victim with packets saying, yes, I can hear you. The response is the victim is left totally unable to participate in other network sessions.